as things continue to heat up in the Ukraine with Russia, the Lord continues to share with us what he's doing. Dear ones, keep your hearts close and tucked into the Lord. Be strengthened in his heart. We're going to need it in the coming months. Jesus began. Things are very tense in Europe right now. All over the continent they are preparing for war and believe if they can stop Russia now, they will be safe. But Russia will not be stopped because I have spoken my judgment on those countries for their idolatry child trafficking, and witchcraft. I will cleanse the dark holes of torture that lie beneath their fine cities, but are full of rot and corruption. Russia will not be stopped until I have used her to punish the nations who have abandoned me and fully embraced the devil. That is my final word to them. In the meantime, there are pockets of true Christians that I will deliver out of the mayhem that is coming to them. I will have mercy on my faithful ones who are praying and lifting up the lost to be redeemed, even in the midst of the battlefield with raging bullets flying. I will preserve many, but there will also be many martyrs. Claire, what is to come after this? they will not have to live through. Lord, please don't let them use nerve gas. That is so horrible. Please block that. Jesus continued, There will be plagues because of the dead bodies, and I will go through any extreme to spare them the gas. Those countries where they are faithfully praying will suffer less, yet the wicked must be purged for the terrible sins against humanity, and especially children. Those who are devout and forming prayer groups to pray for those who have denied me, as well as for my servants, whom I sent to prepare them for a time such as this. Those faithful intercessors will have my very special protection. Ezekiel saw pockets of praying Christians that were miraculously preserved. Do you understand, dear ones, that sin must be punished in the hopes that they will repent, and all will see the difference between those who pray and are devoted to me and those who have stubbornly turned their backs to me? Long and hard I have labored to reach them, but the witchcraft only proliferates. Therefore, I will put an end to that. There are many underground tunnels that will be totally destroyed, sealing off the fate of men and women faithful to the Dark Ones. You know that judgment and punishment are not my first choice. They are my last resort. Long and hard, frequently, have I called to my European citizens, but they have stubbornly turned their backs on me and refused to listen. This same judgment will also befall America and Israel because of their apostasy. There is no excuse for it except their stubborn pride. You know, my love, how I have labored with all my heart to turn their destinies around. But the corruption goes deep in the royal families and as a result, it filters down. That is why it is so very important to stay clean, clear. There are many who are hoping for your downfall. Lord, are you still planning for Russia to conquer America after Europe? Jesus continued. That is the order set forth. However, President Putin may bump up the timing on his attack if she continues to do serious damage. That, of course, is what exactly the Dark Ones want. Claire, I know the quandary you are finding yourself in, and in fact, all my faithful ones are in. The question is, when will the war in America begin in earnest? 
He answered, I cannot foretell that to you, beloved of my heart. So much depends on prayer and how many, how hard, and how long they are praying. But I can tell you this, the Father does not want to do this to them. He is loath to punish in this way, but there is no other choice. That is why we are asking for so much prayer. We want this to go down in a better way so that everyone is in agreement. War is a horrific thing. Many lose their souls because they take liberties to indulge their passions at the cost of the poor and faithful ones. They will receive the heaviest sentence in hell. But those who walk in integrity and do not take advantage, they will be rewarded and protected in special ways. So your assignment now is to pray diligently that the soldiers will be restrained and victims will be protected from inhumane acts. Take heart, beloved ones. This purging of the earth must happen now before the millennium so that we may begin with a clean slate. The earth will burn and much, if not all, of the wicked devices will be obliterated in preparation for the millennium. There is no better prayer than the divine mercy, but you must pray it with a heart full of compassion. Put yourselves in their place and imagine that one day you are productive and happy with all you have labored for many years to obtain for your work and livelihood, and the next day you are a refugee with everything totally destroyed behind you. Imagine that, and you will see what they are facing. And that was the end of his message.